Um, the committee now moves to consideration of H.R. 2352. The clerk will report the title of the bill. To amend the Small Business Act and for other purposes. I ask unanimous consent that the bill in its entirety be open for amendments at this time. Does any member seek recognition for the purpose of offering an amendment? I wish to be recognized. Uh, the gentle lady, Ms. Dolcomper, is recognized for five minutes. Uh, Madam Chairwoman, I have an amendment at the desk. An amendment to H.R. 2352 offered by Ms. Dahlkemper of Pennsylvania, page 10, line 25. I ask unanimous right. consent that the amendment be considered as read. The gentle lady is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. My amendment will allow members of the National Guard and Reserve access to the Veterans Business Centers. As a reserve military force, the National Guard and Reserves are called upon for domestic emergencies as well as to serve with our armed forces overseas. These brave men and women can be deployed for many months at a time and face unique struggles when returning to their businesses and other jobs. The Veterans Business Outreach Program is designed to provide entrepreneurial entrepreneurial development services such as business training, counseling, and mentoring. These services are no less important for National Guard and Reserve members than other servicemen and women. This amendment is very simple, simply a fair and just way to honor um, those in the uh, National Guard and Reserves who served our nation. I yield back. Yeah. Um, both Mr. Grapes and I are in support of the amendment. It's a straightforward amendment, and I want to thank the gentle lady for her, con her contribution um, on this uh, legislation. Uh, are there any other members to be recognized that wish to be recognized on this amendment? Hearing none, the question is on the amendment offered by Ms. Doug Kemper. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes, the ayes have it, and the amendment is agreed to. Does any other member seek recognition for the purpose of offering an amendment? Madam Chair. I recognize the gentleman from Iowa. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. An amendment to H.R. 2352 offered by Mr. King of Iowa. Page 11. I ask unanimous consent that the amendment be considered as read, and the gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, having uh, spent nearly 30 years as an entrepreneur myself in small business and sold that off to my second generation oldest son, um, I look at this proposal that's here, and having worked with SCORE, by the way, and, and appreciating the work that they do, but one piece that appears to be missing to me is the, the lack of peer-to-peer -peer interactivity. And so what my amendment does is it establishes that we will have an online education website that's, that's part of this, but my amendment establishes an online network for use by potential and existing entrepreneurs to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer technical assistance. So uh, think of it in terms of uh, adding to the website a forum or even a developed frequently asked question component so that peer-to-peer, -peer, whatever particular business you might be in or considering going in, you could go in on that website, you could get your frequently asked questions answered, and then uh, if they're not answered, you could ask it in the forum uh, component of this so that uh, the other peers then could provide and offer those answers. And I would add to this that um, uh, according to a website that I perused here the other day, they counted, these would be divisions and departments, but they counted 682 different federal agencies. Um, that is an astonishing number, and it is something that would add to the fear factor of any entrepreneur, and hopefully that uh, the addition to this good legislation of a peer-to-peer -peer component to the website would be something that will help uh, multiply the effectiveness of it. And with that, I would uh, urge its adoption, and I yield back the balance of my time. I thank the gentleman for his amendment, and I want to um, support it. Um, I think that the purpose and the approach of the amendment is good for the legislation. It is critical that we use existing resources uh, to create new avenues for entrepreneurial education, and I think that this type of amendment really enhances uh, the effectiveness of the legislation that we have uh, before us. Um, Mr. Grapes, do you have any um, Remarks regarding the amendment? I don't. I think that uh, Mr. Thompson's the only one that does on our side. Mr. Thompson. Thompson is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman, Ranking Member Grace. Thanks for moving forward this important package. Uh, you know, Mr. King's amendment to this section is a common sense approach to further expand technology to entrepreneurs in order to increase the dissemination of information across 
peer-to-peer -peer networks. And through providing an avenue of individuals to connect with each other, we decrease dependence upon the SBA ultimately and facilitate information sharing and real-life stories and experiences uh, that benefit all entrepreneurs. And it reminds me of the saying, you can, uh, when you teach a man to fish, that's where the value comes in. I believe this amendment will, s will stand to benefit this section of the bill and encourage the committee to support Mr. King's amendment and yield back the balance of my time. The question is on the amendment offered by Mr. King. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. Does any other amendment seek recognition for the purpose of uh, offering an amendment? Madam Chairman, um, Chairwoman, I have an amendment at the desk. I recognize the gentle lady from Illinois. Thank you, Madam Chair. My amendment is very simple. It will make surviving they, spouses. The clerk will report the amendment. Oh. I'm sorry. An amendment to HR 2352 offered by Ms. I ask unanimous consent that the amendment be considered as read and the gentle ladies recognized. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. My amendment is very simple. It will make surviving spouses eligible for assistance from the SBA Veterans Business Centers. This includes surviving spouses of Armed Forces members, reservists, National Guardsmen, and veterans. As the committee is well aware, most small businesses are family enterprises. Uh, surviving spouses of our brave men and women who serve in uniform should be eligible for assistance from the Veterans Business Centers. And my amendment, which is supported by the VFW, will make this possible. I ask for the committee's support, and I yield back the balance of my time. Uh, thank you. I strongly support this amendment, and I urge its adoption. And I, Madam I'm, Chair. Y yes. As to strike the last word. Yes, Mr. Shore. Okay. Uh, and I do appreciate the amendment. Uh, for those who are familiar with serving in the service, and uh, uh, you know that it's not only those that wear the uniform that serve. The spouses do serve. The families serve. I think this is a very thoughtful amendment and um, I would encourage others to support it as well. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back. Thank you. Are there any other members that wish to be recognized on the amendment? Hearing none, the question is on the amendment offered by Ms. Halverson. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it and the amendment is agreed to. Does any other member seek recognition for the purpose of offering an amendment? Seeing no further amendments, the question is on reporting HR 2352 as amended. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The ayes have it, H.R. 2352, as amended, is reported. This concludes the committee business for today. I ask unanimous consent that the committee is authorized to correct section numbers, punctuation, cross-references, and to make necessary technical and conforming corrections on the bills considered today. Without objection, so ordered. This mark is adjourned. This markup is adjourned. You see?